I can't call him daddy corny. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Okay, so the other day I was hanging out with my patrons. We we're having a little Zoom hang and I was like, guys, I feel like I've run out of ideas. I want to watch more musical movies, but I just don't know any, which was probably the dumbest thing I've ever said because one of my patrons immediately said hairspray. And I was like, uh, yeah, hairspray, obviously. So that's what we're watching today. I woke up today and I got myself a little, a little girly little Starbucks and I felt like simping over Zac Efron, okay? So here we are, we're going to watch Hairspray. Thank you to my patrons for reminding me that Hairspray exists. If you wanna support me on Patreon, I would be so grateful. You can find me on there, patreon.com slash Hannah Bales. Okay, I really love this song. I feel like every musical theater kid, specifically every musical theater girl, sang this song at one point in their lives, right? Am I just like missing something with the lore of this show or something? But when she sings the O, oh, it's like so aggressive. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> it sounds great. She has a beautiful voice, but every time. Uh, uh, oh, woke up today. And then it's so pretty. <laughs> and then aggressive. <laughs> I like it. Sing it, Tracy. Oh, 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 look at my hair. What you can compare with mine today. <sighs> this is the energy we all need. So someone invite me before I drop dead. That was such a beautiful belt. And she even had some vibrato in that. Like when she sings the word dead, drop dead, she's belting and it has vibrato, which is very hard because a belt is a very chest dominant sound and chest voice is the bottom of our range, right? And that's what gives belting its like oomph. And she does that so well. Her vowel is pretty wide. It's an E eh vowel. So listen to that on dead. And you can see her mouth is very uh, almost square. That is actually a belting technique that some teachers teach that you want it to be wide and big and open. I think that leads for most people into a dangerous place where they are tense and shouty. She's doing fantastic, but if we are uh, us, you know, normal people are at home trying to sing along, we want to lean that vowel just slightly towards an it. Not so far that you're singing did, because then you're actually going to start mixing because we've narrowed the vowel so much. So I would just want instead of dead, like she's so wide, she's almost singing dad. I want it to be more like dead there. So more of a vertical shape instead of this widening. Oh my God, that actually gave me goosebumps, that key change. I promise I'm not gonna spend this much time talking about every single song or this video will be a million years long. If you like videos that are a million years long, join my Patreon, I have extended episodes there. Okay, on that key change, she's singing start. Again, a very open vowel, ah, start. And she, oh my God, it's so resonant. It has this really beautiful vibrato and she is belting perfectly. And it's so resonant up here. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> James Marsden. <laughs> he sings one line and smiles and I am weak. That was a lot. And I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> Look at little teenage Zach Efron. He was so young in this because I was 14. He's not that much older than me, which is why I'm still holding out hope, obviously. He was 19 when it came out. He's probably 18 when he filmed it. He literally looks so young. Ah, so cute. Would you talk? <laughs> if you didn't recognize 
Tracy's mom, that's John Travolta. If you don't know about Hairspray, which I'm not an expert on Hairspray, but that role is always done by a man. And that is your very tiny little taste sprinkle of drag history. <laughs> and we're off. Oh my 20. God. Look at Michelle Pfeiffer. God damn, she looks good. <laughs> She looks like like a 60s Barbie. Yeah, they're kids corny. That's why we have to steer them in the white direction. Right direction? Didn't I say that? That was quite the Freudian slip. Those TV people they don't pick people like crazy or girls like us. They're gonna hurt her, Wilbur. I forgot that the entire plot hinges on Tracy being fat. I actually forgot for a minute because that is actually so ridiculous. What's even more ridiculous and what fills me with rage is when community theaters don't cast fat women to play that part. They cast like mid-size, a size 12 women, which for context, I'm a size 12. So it makes me so mad. There are only a few roles for fat women to play. And this is one of the very, very, very few roles that is a lead. That makes me mad. Then you go for it. Hell yeah, dad. Babe, you gotta think big to be big. Big ain't the problem in this family, Wilbur. Oh, f you, mom. <laughs> Why is it always the moms tearing their daughters down? Tracy is not dumb. She obviously is aware of her surroundings. She knows that she is bigger. And yet she looks in the mirror and she loves herself. Don't squash her spirit. Ugh. Tracy, you do you. So you don't want the teenagers to move their hips in any way that you deem suggestive, but you slept with the judges. Wow. Let them twerk a little bit, okay? They want to twerk. <laughs> Let them do it. <gasps> oh my God, I love this. Oh my God. Okay, I love the way that she's acting this. It's incredible. But this is such a great example of musical translated to theater in such a great way. That's not something that you can accomplish on stage to have that like flashback moment. But that was amazing. I love that addition. I'm all for integration. It's the new frontier. Yes, fight the power. Yes, my heart burns. Now I know what life's about. Tracy's got those, those teenage hormones can be very overwhelming. <laughs> oh my God, girl. That is pretty unhinged. Fantasizing about this boy she has a crush on and then say, even when we die, we're going to think about how in love we were. <laughs> Honey, we are skipping all the steps. Oh my God, I love this. Zach sounds so good. I feel like this is another example of in High School Musical when I was like, when, well, do you do you ever have a dream when you when that you I do, do you have a did you yeah. Hannah? <laughs> so when I originally watched High School Musical, I was obviously crushing on Zac Efron. I watch it, you know, last year or whenever I watched it, and suddenly I'm like, Daddy Bolton, <laughs> it's looking pretty good now. I'm just saying, yeah. he looks good. <laughs> so this morning, I'm like, oh, I want to simp over Zac Efron. Let's watch this. And I just look at him and he's so little. I'm like, oh, so cute. And I'm looking at James Marsden like, I can't call him Daddy Corny. <laughs> Daddy Collins, he looks really good. <laughs> so I'm not simping over Zac Efron anymore. Not in this. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate Zac Efron's vocal evolution? In High School Musical, he literally did not sing, except that one <laughs> acapella moment. Oh, Ooh, 
he needs an accompaniment. The spirit was there, but the key was not. He didn't even sing in the first one. He was dubbed because he was struggling so much. And now, I mean, we heard him in The Greatest Showman. He's amazing. And even like this was only a couple years after High School Musical. I'm very impressed. He sounds really good. <laughs> She's revolutionizing dance right now. Britney really needs to tone her hair. I don't think that having golden blonde hair is a problem. Like everybody on TikTok will always say, like if you have the slightest bit of gold in your blonde hair, they want you to tone it. But hers is, is really yellow. <laughs> I think I mean, she just needs a little bit. Just a little bit of toner would be great. Oh my God, James Marsden is wearing a dark purple suit. <laughs> he looks great, but he would probably look great in anything. I will try really hard not to simp over James Marsden anymore in this video. I've done it enough. I want that chubby communist girl off the show. <laughs> I want that chubby communist girl off the show. That's going to be one of my reviews. Every time I watch <laughs> Disney Channel original movie, I'm suddenly talking about the lower class revolting <laughs> against the upper class. This is discrimination, restitution, reparations. We need all of that. They took all that energy and they focused it on social change. <laughs> oh, God. So Brittany Snow, she is in Pitch Perfect. I reacted to those if you want to watch them. I'll link them over here. She has a tendency to sing with very little chest voice. So she is what I would call a light chest voice voice type. She was much younger in this. As we get older, our voices get a little bit lower. So her voice would be maturing. But you can hear that she's singing, I'm gonna get her after school, after there. When really that's in our chest voice, our speaking voice range. And so we should be looking for like more mmm here where I'm talking. I'm gonna get her after school there instead of like that really light and airy place. But I also know that this is very appropriate to her character too. Oh my God, they sound amazing. How do they do that with their necks? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I can't do it. No. <laughs> well, they sound great and somehow they can move their necks like that, which is amazing. But just notice, look how tall their heels are. And they are dancing and they are doing incredible things. I do not have the ability to wear heels like that. No, not me. That was literally incredible. You can't even compare that with Amber's dinky little number. That was amazing. That was so good. Brought to you by Napaway for stubborn hair. Every kink will be gone in a blink. It's only appropriate to say every kink will be gone in a blink if you're like a psychiatrist that helps people not be kinky anymore. <laughs> and that's like an ad. Kinky? Don't want to be? I'll help you. That's horrible. Horrible. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Horrible. You are one inch from being canceled. You know what your demographic is? Cleaning ladies and lawn jockeys. Oh my God. I know the whole point of this is to talk about race, okay? It's supposed to be, but man, that was really racist. That was really awful. I am uncomfy. Also, why don't you, Velma, shut your face? Motormouth Maybell had the wherewithal to dye her hair properly. You and your daughter need some toner, okay? So you actually have no room to talk. Hey, Mom. This movie is pure serotonin. Okay, maybe not pure. The racism really puts a damper on that. Ugh. <laughs> but the songs are really good. <laughs> I 
I love the way they did this. Putting them in like different advertisements. Ah, this is such a good musical adaptation. Tracy, <gasps> baby, look at me. Oh, I'm the cutest chickie that you ever did see. Hey, Tracy, hey, baby, look at us. Where is there a team that's happening? Fabulous. Okay, I kind of forgot John Travolta was Edna. <laughs> he is really doing a good job. I'm just grinning. This is so cute. The ensemble in this movie. And the singing. Oh my God. I loved that. I can't see what people look at me and only see the color of my face. Oh yeah. And there's those that try to help God knows, but always have to put me in my place. Ha! Huh, I've goosebumps. I feel like I need to brace myself so I can properly appreciate this. It sounds so easy for him. This song is so good for him. Oh my god! She was just doing the prairie dog. What video did I just talk about the prairie dog in? That stupid dance move that I thought I made up because I absolutely did not make it up because she just did it. And she did it way better than I did. Oh my God, do you see my goosebumps? Probably not. Oh my God. She's got that high note. It's like such a great mix belt. And then seaweed comes in with the riff. We just have to appreciate that. Oh my God. You guys should know this about me. I've always been a very musical person. I feel music really deeply. I've always been really prone to emotion when I'm listening to good music. But becoming a voice teacher was like the funnest thing for my listening experience because I learned more about the mechanics of what's happening. And so things are even more impressive, which is also why I started this channel because I wanted to share that with people so that you guys could listen to this. Obviously, you don't have to be a voice teacher to listen to that and say, Hey, damn, that guy can sing. But hopefully we can experience together now. Yeah, that's good and also really difficult. And that's why it's so impressive. <sighs> oh my God, I am overwhelmed. That was an experience. Well, before you go, you sure you wouldn't like to have a little something to eat? I hate to be the person to like make this serious again because I always do that. I always find the problems, but I'm so tired of this trope that fat people are only fat because of the way that they eat. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. And I swear to God that if I get comments of people being like, oh, uh, well, yeah, if you could control yourself, you wouldn't be fat. I will go nuclear. Do not. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. It would be really embarrassing for you to comment that in my comment section. Literally, that would be super embarrassing for you. This is so iconic. She sounds and looks incredible. Good job. We Mativa, you're amazing. Also, damn, you've got to be a powerful woman to be able to pull off a, what you call that, a muumuu, a chiffon leopard print dress like that? Oh my God. Link, don't do what I Mrs. think you're Montes about to do. I promised I could sing it to Miss Hairspray Pageant. She's, she invited agents. That's my shot, Trace. I just think this adventure's a little too big for me. Oh God, no, 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 that's not I, what I- I get it, Link. It's your shot. No, Trace, that's not what I- It's fine. 
Tracy, that was a bit of a jump. Don't you think to take what he said and then think that he was saying something about her weight? That's a bit of a jump. Because he's too scared to go to a protest and fight for people who are not as privileged as him. And you know what? Whatever, Link. We don't need you. Never made history without ruffling some feathers. But he's clearly just weak and scared, okay? I mean, like, I could kind of cut him some slack because he's supposed to be, like, 16. Like, okay, but, I mean, so is Tracy. I just think that was a bit of a jump. I'm selling something you can't purchase at a 10 cent store. She said, I'm selling something you can't purchase at a 10 cent store. You are trying to screw a man who has no interest in you in his joke shop called the Hardy Har Hut. That's, that's pretty cheap. I'm all about women's right to be slutty, okay? That is women's God-given right. You do you, girl. But this, this is not okay. I cannot support this, Velma. You are trying to rip apart a marriage. You're raising an awful child. You're using your body to try and get what you want. And that is not okay in, <laughs> in this situation. Oh, Lord. If I can't dance with seaweed and little Inez, then I don't want to dance on TV at all. I just want tomorrow to be better. I love her so much. In the distance is a voice that comes from deep within. Look at this angel just like riffing over Queen Latifah so easily. The blend of the ensemble underneath her is so good. You're telling me Tracy is the only white person that's standing with them? F that. Ooh, that gave me chills. Oh, God, this show's got a lot of good key changes. Okay, that was fabulous. I want to point out something really interesting she's doing. She's singing bin and she goes from an I to an E eh to help her extend that belt longer because that I vowel is very narrow, so a lot easier to mix on. That's genius. I am sure that she didn't know what she was doing there and was just modifying in a way that felt good to her voice. It, it's really great. So she sings B yeah, and it fits perfectly. Excuse me. She was Tracy. talking to you. Tracy, no. You just assaulted a police officer, miss. No. I watched her. That that was a really great example of white privilege. Let's take the whole lot in. You're going to arrest like 200 people? No way. Come on, Tracy. Oh my God. Look, I love Tracy. I love her chutzpah, but this is effed up. She's the one who just assaulted a police officer. Somehow they let her run away. I don't know how they let her go. But the black people left in this protest are the ones that are gonna pay the consequences of that. Ah, oh, that really bothers me. Tracy, God. And this is when we find how abusive Penny's mother is. Permanently punished. You will live on a diet of saltines and tang. You will never leave this room again. Devil child, devil child. See, why have I talked about kinks so much in this movie? It's not my fault. It's just, they've just done it. If parents realized how much doing shit like this to their kids just really made them like really kinky, depraved adults. I think we would see a little less child abuse. <laughs> this is crazy. The jump rope? Once I was a selfish fool. Never looked inside myself, but on the outside, I looked good. Okay, I hate to pause when Zac Efron is finally singing, but can you imagine like seeing your crush's room for the first time and they have made a shrine to you on their mirror? That's a lot. I mean, no, actually rewind. If I was like 16 and I had a crush on a guy and I saw that he had a shrine, my first instinct would probably be like, oh, he likes me. Instead of, oh, he's going to <laughs> skin me. <laughs> Tracy, I'm in love with you, no matter what you I wear, love that. Life is like the That's season, so creative. No love. This is such a bop. And Zach sounds great. 
God, do we have to have that he has a switchblade? I mean, that's where this is heavy handed. That is heavy handed. But let's ignore the switchblade and just listen to him sing right here. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? Life's a 45 when you can't buy it. I don't know what that means, but Penny is choosing some very interesting vowels. <laughs> Life's a 45. They're very, very open. Link's still just hanging out in her bedroom. Velma, I seriously doubt this girl's gonna risk incarceration to win a pageant. I risk communicable diseases. She'll certainly risk jail. Okay, that shocked me, Velma. Wow. But also listen to James Marsden's high note. So effortless. This is the best part. about the only thing I remember from watching this when it came out. God damn, his voice. It's my obligation to announce that Amber Von Tussle is about to get out, Dan. Ah! Oh my God, look at her dress. Uh, they sound so good together. Also, what the heck did Amber expect by sitting in the prop that gets raised into the ceiling? She's dumb. Good. Goodbye, Amber. Thank God. <laughs> She's not walking in her heels very well. Look, I really love Penny and Seaweed, but I'm also like, this is not your moment. Get off the stage. Look at Tracy in her dress. She needs to keep singing and dancing and be the star of the show. She deserves that. I That would be very scandalous. Wasn't it Star Trek that had the first interracial kiss on TV? Crazy. That's wild. Miss Hairspray is Inez Stubbs. <laughs> Inez. Of course, Tracy's so happy for her. This is so cute. You can't stop my happiness because I like the way I am. Preach. God, uh, John Travolta did a great job as Edna. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Damn, Mama. Of course, she sounds amazing. This song is such a marathon. Like these people didn't do this all in one take and I'm imagining their cardio strength. So like to be in this show, like a production of Hairspray, you've got to be so wiped by the end. They're kissing. Although Link never apologized. He'll probably do it later, I'm sure, right? I could not possibly pick a favorite song. That was so amazing. This is the perfect thing to watch today. I feel so pumped up. Tracy, played by Nikki Blonsky. Freaking incredible. So cute. Obviously, I've seen the show. I've seen this movie before, but I was left wanting a little bit more of a Tracy moment at the end. But 
also, it's so Tracy to share the spotlight with everybody else. So I did kind of like that. That was so good. That was, I think, an expertly done movie adaptation of a musical. Okay, guys, please let me know what else you want me to react to down in the comments. Check out my Patreon if you would like to support what I do. Patreon.com slash Hannah Bales. I do extended episodes, longer versions of my videos for my patrons. So if you want to support what I do, I would really appreciate it. Patreon.com slash Hannah Bales. And check me out on Instagram and TikTok, Hannah.Bales and my other channel, Daddy Hannah, where I do romance book reviews and other things that I just feel like doing. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? All right. Bye.